OK, we have another guest now, another taller resident, actually. Uh, Timmy has, has just left the studio. But uh, we have uh, somebody that uh, was very active in Scarif a number of years ago in her career and uh, has retired now, and that's uh, Siobhan Mulcahy. Siobhan, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. I should say we did an interview with Siobhan during the week and uh, the gremlin struck. So um, we're the, the, the upside is we're delighted to have Siobhan live uh, on the phone. But Siobhan, you're very busy this morning, so that's why you couldn't come over to the studio. I'm afraid. I'm afraid so, yeah. It's kind of chaotic here. I'm here in the courthouse. The market is on, the coffee shop is on, and it's never been busier. And across the road outside Super Value, there's a, a group who are launching the the um, community lottery syndicate for the athletics club and the old boys school and scouts. So it's all happening. And there's so if there's noise in the background, I have to apologise. No, that's fine. Well, uh, we can barely make them out, but uh, you're coming through loud and clear, Siobhan. Siobhan, what, what we were anxious to talk to you about was um, the work that's going on in Tulla at the moment, uh, I suppose, on, on a social level, to integrate people and to make sure that Tulla, I think, has many new residents, uh, both, you know, Irish residents and residents from overseas. And using the courthouse and the wonderful facility that's there, um, you have, you know, undertaken an initiative, Siobhan, to, um, to, to use that and to welcome people uh, to the town and to the parish. We have. I mean, it's, it's a relatively simple concept. We've a wonderful building here, as you know, in the courthouse, which is right in the centre of Tulla opposite super value and it's it's our community centre it's owned by the county council and it's leased to uh, the the courthouse committee and we run it as a community centre and it just is it seemed it seemed like an awful waste that the building was empty during the day so a number of us got together that are involved with the courthouse about about almost a year ago and we said we'd start doing uh, coffee mornings on a tuesday just from 10 until 12 inside in the courthouse and it would be a drop-in centre a community coffee shop for anyone who felt like calling in and it started off we we were using it as our basis for selling tickets for the the drama group because they were doing one act plays last november and we used it as our selling base but people would drop in after mass or people would drop in who were in town and it was it was always lovely to see everybody calling in um, as you know, an awful lot of things have changed and are changing in Tulla very rapidly. And there's a lot of new housing being developed and a lot of new families have moved into Tulla who don't maybe know many people here. And we said it's an opportunity for people to call in, to meet other people, play a hand of cards, maybe just sit and chat about things, find out what's going on. Um, and also, we have a number of new families who've moved in, both families from Ukraine who are fleeing the awful war that's there, and also other families who have arrived uh, seeking asylum from danger in their own countries. So they're all living in Tulla, and they're all now very much part of our community. They've joined Tidy Towns, and they've joined soccer and scouts and athletics and all kinds of things. But as a social centre, the coffee shop is it's a great place for people to meet and to improve their English and to, as I say, just to get to meet other people. Yeah. Siobhan, good morning to you. John S. here. Good um, morning, John. Uh, by the way, you make a most delightful chocolate cake. <laughs> a, a fudge cake. Thank you. Thank you. We I sell it here. We sell it here in the market any time you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Already cash. I, yeah. I, I, I'm serious uh, about this now. I mean, you, you, you actually are a, a fine cook if we judge you by the actual what we had with you yesterday when we were making the recording which transpired uh, if the machine was fooling us. Okay. So anyway, um, you're very much committed to helping the integration of the refugee the refugees into the life of the community in 
Hello, would that be fair comment? I suppose it is fair. I mean, we're 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 welcoming everybody into the community in the same way that I suppose I came to Tulla 39 years ago, and I was welcomed into Tulla with open arms, and I was given, I was made to feel so at home. Um, it was just I've met the most wonderful people who live here and who have always made me feel as though I was part of the place, and I just feel that. It is, it is a most welcoming place to everybody and we need, I suppose, an opportunity or a place for people to meet mm -hmm. so that they can get to know each other and they can become more part of the community. Because if this is where people decide they want to come and they want to live and they want to make their future, then it's important they're invested in the place and it's also important that that we get to know new people who come in and what they have to offer because it's they just have an amazing resource of of talent and skills and it's wonderful yeah. and the, the coffee shop on a tuesday is it's a great way of finding out how finding out about other countries so, about where people have come from yeah. um the whole lot you know so, so what, it's, it's all mm, we're all learning yeah so what would i experience if i call to you uh, to the uh, courthouse on a Tuesday morning, what 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 am I going to meet and see? You, we have we just have a number of tables set out in the in the main hall of the courthouse. Over in one corner, we have teas and coffees and biscuits and popcorn and goodness knows what that have been very kindly provided for us by the CLDC, the Clare Leader Company, and they have become involved with us now because they have they have an initiative around Clare to to have these kind of centres for people to get to meet others and to integrate into the community. But when they came to Tulla, we already had it up and running. So they very kindly have offered to fund what we're doing and to fund the supplies we need, which is wonderful. They uh, brought and you us need... children's toys. Yeah. So if you had come, John, during the summer, you would have found probably a degree of chaos because... There were, the children were all off school, so families came in with youngsters and they were all playing board games and playing all kinds of games here. Mm -hmm. um, Joan Kalu McNamara has succeeded in getting a grant for some community instruments and she's very interested in introducing community music. What a beautiful so idea. She's, mm -hmm. um, she, had, she brought in all these instruments and we were learning songs from Morocco mm -hmm. and they were learning songs from Ireland and we were sharing our experiences that way. So it was wonderful. So this um, could be repeated in communities like Scarif, Mount Shannon, Whitegate. Absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely. the message you have. It can be repeated have. anywhere. All you need is a venue where you get a... a I was going to say a degree of quiet, but it's not It's not quiet. Yeah. Um, when the children have gone back to school now, it gets quieter, and we have a number of people from the Bridge Club who are interested in calling in and maybe playing some casual hands of bridge and getting more people interested in learning bridge. Mm -hmm. So if it was in, you know, in a local library or if there was a free space in a hall or anything, as long as you have the venue... You then just, we haven't even got a sign, but we will get one. You just put up your sign and you say you've got a community coffee morning. CLDC are more than willing to help. Yes. And they will provide funding for all kinds of supplies to help with this. And then you just get the word out there to people, you mm, know, just yeah. to come in and that everybody's welcome to, to just arrive. Uh, ma many, many years ago... Um, in, in the Scarif area, uh, we investigated how many organisations were in the community. Yes. Now, we shocked <laughs> ourselves and, uh, and uh, other, other observers that there were something like 65. And that, you'd say, that's Whoa. impossible. But you, you actually have uh, counted 36 in your own community. I think we, there'll be 36 or 38 in Tulla, yeah. which is an awful lot. It is, you know, it's, really. It's a huge level of voluntary work. Yeah. Now, there, we, we, we produced at the time a little pamphlet uh, indicating how uh, anybody can access uh, any of the organisations. And, um, and it, you know, it had a life span for a period of time and then the volunteers got 
bit scarce along the way and it can be died out. But it's following on very much on what you're uh, talking to us about this morning, in fact, integration and the value of that in the psychological health of a community. Yeah, yeah there's a number of years ago, like we had the same, we'd, we, we'd, we were trying to put together a directory of all the organisations so people could have access to the numbers, the email addresses and what was going on with each club and each organisation. But a number of years ago in the secondary school, we had an open day and the secondary school very kindly gave us the, the use of their concourse. And all the organisations and clubs set up their stall. They had their application forms and their flags and banners and treats and memorabilia and all of those things. And we had an open day on a Sunday where people came in and could find out what was going on. It's for all the world a bit like they have Freshers Week in college mm. when when people are starting college and they have a Freshers Week where, where they can find out all of the different organisations they can join. But we, we will have to do that again in Tulla because now there are so many housing developments that are being completed. Mm. Within a space of four or five years, there's a lot of new families coming into the town. And I think it's time that we will have another open day so that all of the organisations will be able to just explain what they do and recruit new members and describe it to people and they can have tryout days to see whether they like it or not, you know, but it's yeah. the best way for people to find out what's going on. It is, and uh, it's David here, Siobhan. Uh, nice to hear your voice again. Uh, Hi, it, it is a great idea and, of course, it's 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 makes so much sense, doesn't it? And... Uh, it does, and it, it makes it sociable in itself, the open day, because you can have teas and coffees yeah. and people will yeah. hang around and chat to each other and get introduced to other people. Yeah. You know, you'd find people coming in with children in buggies and they start <laughs> talking to somebody else and they find they only live down the road from each other. Exactly. In, in this modern society, even for people who have lived here, lived in any locality for a little time, they may have moved five, six, seven, ten years ago, but still, it can be challenging uh, in in our modern fast-paced society where we don't have... I mean, I think we we were talking about this with you yesterday. Um, you know, we don't have the same moments of engagement as there used to be, those pillar moments in, in any week. We don't. We, we don't, really. I mean, you, you, you're passing by people in cars and you, you know people's faces and you salute them when you pass by, but you never get a chance to speak to them. Yeah. And that idea that there is something like a coffee shop or there is a social centre that just would, would kickstart somebody's introduction into the community. <clears throat> yeah. And that through that, then they might, you know, they might hear of, you know, the, if your child is a certain age, have you tried the soccer club? They've got, yeah. they've got a great programme for underage. Yeah. Or have you tried the GAA club? Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's an opportunity for people in the course of chat... Yeah. to engage with each other and find out what's going on. Siobhan, I'm, I'm very interested in what you're saying. Uh, and I, I'm wondering if the community can benefit from knowing what trades are available within the, the actual community that they may not... They might be looking for a plumber, a plumber, yeah. or electrician. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> and if you That's could list, another, I if mean, yes, list uh, those in new people and new houses and all sorts yeah. of things need you need that sort of help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have yes. Siobhan, have you had any feedback from those people who would have turned up uh, on a Tuesday morning in the courthouse? I suppose they, they thoroughly enjoy it, and I suppose the testimony to it is the fact that they keep turning up, which is great. You know, and a number of families, say, didn't come during the summer because their children were off school and they were busy at activities with them, so they weren't able to, to come. There isn't an obligation on people to come each week, and so it's whoever is available. Now, I think probably now, as the summer is finishing, we might get, say, a number of, like I say, the Bridge Club or a number of other groups who might come in. So the, the dynamic changes all the time. But it's it's the feedback is from people is good that they they enjoy it and they come back again and again, which is great. Now we'd love to see more people coming. We would love to see 
people maybe who are working from home and just want to take time out and have a cup of coffee and meet somebody else rather than just looking at the four walls of their home or their office. Um, anybody who even if they decide that they want to buy their coffee in Super Value or buy their coffee in the Holly Tree, which is wonderful, then there, there aren't places to sit down to have your coffee. So on a Tuesday morning, they could bring in that and come into the courthouse with it. Um, so it's it's really it's an open centre and the people who will use it will define how it works. OK, Siobhan, um, I, we promised you we'd let you back early because uh, you're busy there and we don't want too many people kind of banging on the table and saying we haven't got <laughs> our coffee yet. But listen, you're very good to take the call this morning and uh, thank you so much for, for joining us. And good luck with uh, the Tuesday mornings and with all the, the work that's going on in Tulla, all the wonderful work that's going on in Tulla, uh, welcoming people uh, into the area. So thanks again. And uh, please, God, we'll have you on before too long again, Siobhan. Well, hopefully so. And thank you very much for the opportunity just to get the word out there. It's great. You know, so I hope more and more people will come. OK, Good so morning. thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Siobhan Mulcahy in the courthouse in Tulla. Many thanks. And uh, we'll talk soon again.